Yo, what's going on everyone? Guiding Light here, and in this video I will show you guys how to get the Star Tours trophy, which is to discover and complete all of the Jedi Chambers. So you will complete two of these Jedi Chambers during the main story, and then after that you're on your own. So I will show you guys how you can get to all of them, and also complete them. So for the first one, we'll fast travel into the Devastated Settlement. Now luckily all of these are on the same planet, so you can actually get this done in about 20 to 30 minutes. So head on to the Devastated Settlement. Now from here you will need to get across, this one's a little bit hidden and it requires a step to even be able to enter, so very quickly I will walk you through this one. So get across the bridge by going back up this direction. After you do this you will need to glide to the island which is to the left. Once you get over to this side and you have taken out the enemies, you will need to move this laser. This will allow you to actually get into the chamber, so be sure to do this first. You will notice that there's a small ledge over here, so just point the laser so that it's on that ledge. Now from here, you will need to go and glide over in that direction. So very quickly, just get across. Now once you get across, there's going to be like two really small enemies to take out, and then you're going to need to use BD for this laser. So you can go and move this energy over to this wall and then burn it open. Now this one will be complete, you just simply pick up the perk, and then you can move on to the next chamber. So for the next chamber, you will want to fast travel to the fort. So fast travel to fort, and then from here, make sure you exit in this direction. Now this one's a little interesting, you will need to grab yourself a mount in order to complete it. So there should be mounts very close by. So here's a quick location on the map, show you guys where we're at. We fast travel to the fort, which is within Rambler's Reach, and that is the location on the map. Now from here, you will want to go and grab yourself a mount. The entrance to the chamber is just up this way, right next to this giant rock here in the middle. But you will need a mount in order to actually get to it, so... This is where I managed to find a mount, it's just around the corner. You will need to jump up this wall here, but in order to make the jump, you're gonna need to find yourself a mount. So, I managed to find one just around the corner. Once you guys get yourself a mount, head back to where you just came from. It's really not very far away if you manage to find a mount in the same location. So we're just going to run back and you can use this big giant rock here as a reference. Here we go. And all you'll have to do is simply use the mount to double jump up to these vines. Now I cut the video because there's some enemies fighting me, but go ahead and just jump up to these vines. And you will then need to just simply follow this beam around and you'll then get inside of the chamber. Now, once you get inside of the chamber, there's a bit of a puzzle, so I'll walk you guys through that as well because I don't want you to get stuck and have it take like 20 extra minutes, so very carefully make your way up here and you should find the chamber entrance. Once you've made it inside the chamber, this is when the puzzle starts, you will need to drag this block out by using the force. You can then get across the first part. You'll then have to open up this wall, which will allow you to move this second block here. This block you're going to use to get to the next area. So after moving this block out, you can then grab, grab onto these vines. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to pull the block out and then jump on the vines while it's still moving. Now once you do jump onto the block, make sure that you don't jump onto the side closest to the wall because there will not be enough room. You have to get on the back side of the block and just hold onto these leaves right here. This will bring you to the other side of the maze, and you can then jump off, and this is when the next part starts, so be sure to open up the ceiling up there. After that, you will want to pull this block out of the wall. We're going to use this block for a good portion of the puzzle, so you'll notice that it moves all the way across the room and has mines on it, just like the other one. So as you can already guess, we're going to use this block to get up, but first you may want to inspect these ruins. After that, you can go and you can pull the block back. You're then going to use this block to jump onto a new ledge. So as it's moving, 
you will want to make sure that you have enough time to jump up on top of the block and then get across. So be ready because you will need to jump on these leaves, which you can then use to jump all the way across. Now once you get across, you will be have to inspect these ruins again, and you can move along with the puzzle from here. So. You must be strong for if the you continue task along inside of this room, you'll notice that it's not really complicated in this part. You just have to run throughout the wall. But after this part, you'll notice that you're kind of just stuck up in the ceiling and there's another side that we opened up earlier, that other side of the ceiling that you can still get over to. So in order to get up there, what you will need to do is just simply use this block once more, pull it back to the other side, and simply, while it's moving, you can use this to jump onto the second platform. So however you need to do it, just move the block back into this corner, then while it's moving, get on top of it, and you should have enough time to double jump and then dash inside. This will allow you to then inspect the last part. From here, you can then open up this portion of the ceiling. This will push a block to the other side. And then finally, you'll want to go and jump through. And as you can guess, we're going to use this block to get on top of that pole there, and then just simply jump across the block. So. What you'll need to do is then go back across the puzzle one more time, pull the block all the way through, and then you can use this block to get through the rest of the puzzle. So, that's going to be it for this one. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay. After completing this Jedi Chamber, we can then make our way over to the next one. So leave this area, go to the fast travel point, and you will want to go to the Viscid Bog. So make sure that you have the main story completed. If you don't have most of these fast travel points by now, I did get most of them in the main story. Also, I believe if you want to get this trophy, you will need certain abilities which you can only get by completing the story. So fast travel to that location and then from there you will want to follow my path. I'll take you guys directly to the chamber and then also show you guys how to complete this puzzle. So after you're going down halfway through this rope, you will then need to jump across. There's going to be a new rope that's here. From here you can make your way across and then grapple out of the mud and you will be inside of the chamber. Now this chamber is another giant puzzle as well and it's a little bit complicated or it's not really that it's complicated, it's just that you wouldn't expect the solution to be what it really is so I will walk you guys through this one this one took me a little while to get completed so this way you don't get stuck we very quickly will make our way down the elevator so once you guys have made it into this puzzle I will walk you through every step now the first step is to run across and hit this pressure plate this is gonna open up these walls and allow you to bring this energy core out so just simply grab the core walk it back across the room and then you can power up this it's a pretty simple part from here you will want to use BD and you're going to drag the energy from this beam over to this wall and that will complete the first step or the first section of the puzzle. So very simply just burn this wall with the energy beam like you probably have a hundred times by now during the game and get this part of the puzzle done. Now once this wall is burnt down you can move on into the second section. So we'll go through this burnt down wall and head up some stairs. Now from here you may notice that there's like a locked door, which may locked seem strange down. at first, so just make your way back and you'll notice that there is a wall that you can climb up. Now keep in mind where that door is because you will need to use it later and that's the part that actually got me stuck, so just know that that door is there. Now once you guys get upstairs you can actually make this jump, you're going to double jump and then dash all the way across and hit this pressure plate. Once you've hit that pressure plate, you're actually going to follow the same method from step one and you're just going to drag this energy all the way along the wall until you can then burn open the room to get to the third section. So you may notice that it doesn't reach all the way over and that's because you then have to walk over and just simply press this second pressure plate and this is going to allow the energy to basically flow to the other side. So very quickly just burn that down and then you can head on into the third section once it's all done.
not defy the council. Dagon Gara feels he must do what is right. Master Rancisus won't allow it. Now, once you've made your way into the third section, there's going to be a few collectibles you can grab and you can open up this door. This is the same door from earlier as you may remember. Now, from here, this is where things get a little tricky. Now, what you need to do is actually follow the exact same method, but with a little bit of a twist. So, you will use BD to draw the energy from this beam. Now, you actually have to drag it all the way across and through the stairs. So, just complete the energy line all the way upstairs. And basically what you have to do is then take the core out and put it back in fast enough that it will actually complete the circuit. So very quickly I'll show you guys how to do it. You're going to drag it, this energy all the way through the other room. Now once you get to this part, you can drag it as far as you can. And you're going to have to be pretty quick after this because you only have a limited time before the energy will run out in this line. So once you have most of the line drawn, you can pull the core out and drag it into the new unit. From here, as quickly as you can, just drag this line all the way across the bridge and up the stairs. This will allow you to then finally burn down this last wall. And luckily after this, you're done with this chamber. There's only like two more after this. So very quickly, guys, we're just going to burn down this last wall, and you will unlock a brand new perk for completing this puzzle. So hopefully this helps helped you out so far. There's still like two more puzzles, but they will not take very long. So just grab this perk, and I'll show you guys where the rest of them are so we can get the trophy. So just very quickly make your way out of the puzzle. You can actually jump ropes back up to where we came in case you're having trouble getting out. And then just simply use this fast travel place. I'll take you guys right to the next puzzle. Breathe. So for this one, fast travel into the southern reach. From here you will have a little bit of a walk, but it's really not very far. So once you have made it into southern reach, just follow the path and you will need to get on the glide here. So jump on this little glide and then you can actually use this to get straight to the chamber. So here's where we are on the map. Just fast travel into the nearest point you have, and we will fly our way over. It's nice here, huh? The wildlife is thriving here. Prey, predators, Now, once you guys get inside this chamber, it's mostly just a jumping puzzle, but there will be a small boss fight at the end. I'm not going to talk you guys through this, but I will let the gameplay run so that you can figure out how to get through this running maze. Wow. Check out this meditation chamber if we'd like. Yeah, 
hiding something, huh? <laughs> yes, you are. I've come this far. Too much blood. Just a little further now. Welcome, Jedi. But both blade and shield against dark forces. The house moves through your thoughts and into your actions. These caves are a wonder. Wait until you visit the monitoring station. The fungus there will amaze you. Once you have completed this chamber, we can move on to the final chamber. So all you'll have to do is simply fast travel once more. Go to the mountain ascent. So once you guys get here, you will have one more puzzle to complete. Now this puzzle is actually insane to get done, but luckily I think I can walk you guys through it in like just a minute or two, but the steps that are included in this one were actually kind of insane. But what you want to do is make your way down here. Inside of the waterfall, you are going to find the last chamber. BD, look. Meditation chamber. Shall we? Welcome, Jedi. So in order to get this chamber done, I will walk you through the steps. It's pretty simple once you know what to do. So just pull that block out from this wall. Now once you guys get inside, just like that other chamber, you're going to find a core inside. You will want to transport that core over to this wall. Now you may notice that this wall rotates so that the energy beam only comes out at certain times. So what you want to do is use BD, draw a little line on that wall, on the block that you pulled over. Then when the timing is right, you want to just simply pull that block out so that it charges up that line you drew on it. From there, push the block back into the wall it was on, and you'll notice that it actually burns a hole in the other wall and reveals a second block. So from there, pull that block back to its original position and then pull out the second block. What that will do is you'll see this pressure plate in the middle. So what you have to do is trigger that plate. So connect these two blocks, but make sure that it does block off that plate with the second block. So simply just connect these two blocks as you can see here, make sure it's in the middle when they connect. Then come over to this side where the pressure plate is, pull that block out. And as it's being pulled back to its original position, you want to move that new block all the way across. And if you, the timing is right, you should have two blocks stacked on top of each other now. From here, all you have to do is simply climb up the vines and you will get the last objective and finally get this trophy. So hopefully this has helped you guys out. I'm sorry the video was so long with just so many chambers and weird puzzles included. So hopefully it helps you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.